Talk to her that way. How do you know she's poor? Look at her. She's filthy. Here you are, sire. Thank you, young lady. That's very kind of you. It's just water. Give her some money. Really? Yes. It's charity. You have things and she doesn't. You're going to give her some of your things so she doesn't have a revolution and take all of your things. Spare change. Any spare change. The moment charity is mentioned, out comes every layabout. Here you are, old woman. Thank you. Be careful, my lord. Many of the very poor have weapons. Oh, no, good sirs, that is merely crazy Marie. She lives in the woods and comes to town only to gather what others throw away. She is kind and gentle in every way, sweet, but nuts. Oh, she's right. Sebastian, Lord Pinkleton, sheathe your swords. You're a good friend to Marie. How lucky she is to have a true friend such as you. I wish I had a true friend. I'm standing right here. Shall we journey on? Very well, Pinkleton. Be well, young lady. Oh, I don't want charity. Well, take the coin then as a present in admiration for a true friend in this world. Buttercup! Oh, wait. 
Sorry, here you are. A lot on my mind. <laughs> oh, I thank you for saving my life, dear Ella. I shall return the favor. Oh, I didn't do it to have a favor oh, return. I have a shawl here that smells of cabbage and only has a few holes in it. You can wear it. Not necessary. Oh, what a handsome man that was, so kind and generous. That is but not a man. That is our own Prince Topher, slayer of giants and dragons. He has just returned to us from university, and he is to be crowned king. Uh, that man, a world leader? Well, he appears to have a, a heart, a mind, and a soul. Oh, no, it cannot be, Marie. You are crazy. I am. But that does not change the fact that he is our Prince Tofa, and he is to be our ruler. Look at your coin, dear. Oh, why, it is him. Oh, from the left, such silly ears, and that crown does not help things. He, he should wear a floppy hat. <laughs> Here you are, Marie. Please take this coin. Buy yourself something warm to eat. Why is it always the very poorest who are the most generous? It breaks my heart. Here is our Jean-Michel. He will now spout gibberish and bore us. Be ass. nice. <laughs> Good day, Jean-Michel. And do you know why the very poorest are the most kind, Ella and Crazy Marie? No, but I have a feeling you are about to be most forthcoming. Because it's a corrupt system with a smashed moral compass. You will forgive me if I mutter. Today I will go alone to the prince and shout to him about this corruption that riddles our government. Oh, you must come with me. Cinderella? That is Madame Ella's stepmother. I shall go to the prince. I'll have no choice but to listen. Cinderella? You are in harm's way. I have a vision for what this kingdom could be. Cinderella, help me with my parcels this instant. Oh, lazy stepdaughter, help me with my package. Careful, careful. No one knows the extreme torture I am subjected to. I'm ignoring that. Charlotte, Gabrielle, come daughters, come. We are here, Mama. We are exhausted being as beautiful as we look. Into the house, daughters. The real ones. Madame isn't always terrible. Sometimes, she sleeps. <laughs> Gabrielle, from university I brought you a book about how other people in other lands govern, uh, Italy, Norway, and even Japan. I have mentioned my interest in these places only in passing and you have brought a whole book. Good at you. And in four days from now I'd like to take you on a date. I'm organizing a soup kitchen. We need somebody to stir in ladle. Gabrielle, do not talk to that man. We are teetering precariously between upper middle class and lower upper class. We cannot be seen talking with a hmm, revolutionary. Into this house at once. Why do I try? Why do I care? I'll, I'll take this book and I'll burn it. Why not give the book to dear Ella? Well, if it's quite all right, Jean-Michel, I would love to see your book on how other countries live. Well, then here, Ella. I shall go my own way. Live my own life all alone in this lonely, cruel world. You are coming with me, right? Of course. Good. Oh, it's been so long since I've owned something, just me. Cinderella, get in there and clean the kitchen. I've just finished it. Then prepare the dinner. Dinner is on the stove. Then <laughs> the beds must. Bed clothing is all laid out and your beds are turned down. Well, where'd you get that book? Jean-Michel gave it to me. So nice that people just give you gifts. Still daddy's little girl. What's this? Oh, that's my father's coat. It's right. It's all I have to remember him by. Ooh. It's rags now. Clean the porch with these rags. As mild and as meek as a mouse When I hear a command I obey But I know of a spot in my house Open. 
open its arms to me. I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan. I'm an heiress who has always had her silk made by her own flock of silkworms in Japan. I'm a girl that go mad for loves a game I can play with a cool and confident kind of air. Just as long as I stay in my own little corner, all alone in my own little chair. I can be whatever I want to be. I'm a thief in Calcutta. I'm a queen in Peru. I'm a mermaid dancing upon the sea. I'm a huntress on an African safari. It's a dangerous type of sport and yet it's fun. In the night I sally forth to seek my Treating me with what? A hundred and five requests. That seems a lot. I'll take this. Your Majestic Highness, in honor of your upcoming coronation, we proudly proclaim your kingdom a land of plenty and bounty. Uh, may I have the imprimatur of your ring for this other announcement? Right, sorry. Well, what's it for? It's complicated. Do you really want me to get into it? Prince Topher, listen! What was that? You must take responsibility for your actions. Who's that yelling from the other side of the moat? The people are being treated unfairly by your government. He seems upset. <sighs> Rabble Rouser! <sighs> Ignore him. I have this new law which forbids any... Well, actually, if you would just let me have the ring, it would save the trip. Shouldn't we listen to what he has to say? People were never upset with mom and dad, were they? Your parents have the good fortune to be royalty in a time of plenty. But since their unfortunate demise, I've done my very best to run this country. I've done my very best to raise you in the finest schools. Hello, I'm talking here. You should invite him up for a talk. Ignore him. I will not give up. If you won't listen, I'll shout this to the town square. Shout this to the town square? Perhaps it's time for a distraction. What kind of distraction? A royal wedding! Wow, and does that work? Oh, like a dream every time! But who will get married? Well, you! <laughs> Me? <laughs> well, that's just silly. I don't know any girls. I went to an all-boys school off in the woods and attended an all-male university on an island. Wait, why did you do that to me? <sighs> For this happy day, I'm going to find you a bride. Oh, happy the day! This is nonsense. How will you find me a bride? We shall have a magnificent ball, dancing. What? Every eligible young woman who can afford a gown will attend. That is a wonderful selection process right there. If you can't afford a nice dress, then you have no business marrying a prince. Now, all the guests will be in masks. You will dance with every girl. 
Then, at the stroke of midnight, everyone will remove their masks and you will have found your bride. That's fast. King and queen on the throne. And I am there to guide you through all your decisions. But it's really a win-win. How would any woman ever fall in love with me so quickly? A valid question, which we will answer sometime soon. Now, Lord Pinkleton, I want you to tell this to all. A pronouncement. No, an announcement. His Royal Highness, Christopher Rufus, Please don't say my Windemir, full name. Windermere, Vladimir, Carl Alexander, oh, so Francois Reginald, Lancelot Herman. Herman? Yeah, Herman. Gregory James is giving a ball. Sebastian, dancing. Can we talk about this? A plea? Now is the time, the time to act. No other time will do. Live and play your part. Don't give away your heart. Don't take what the world gives. Now is the time, the time to live. No other time is real. Yesterday has gone, tomorrow is a guess. Today you can see and feel. No, 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 townspeople, tinkers, fishmongers. I shout to the prince, but he does not listen. If he and Sebastian can take the land of the very poorest, I fear that it's only a matter of time before he takes all of us. For you just can't wait to be served by fate on a silver plate or a tray. Now is the time, the time of your life, the time of your life is today. The prince is giving a ball, the prince is giving a ball. Hear ye, hear ye, a ball and that's not all. The prince is giving a ball, the prince is giving a ball. Hear ye, hear ye. Prince is high, this Christopher Rupert James is giving a ball. He's giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. The, the prince is giving a ball. Now is the time, the time to live. Prince is giving a ball. What? He's giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. His royal highness. Christopher Rupert, Windermere, Vladimir, Carl Alexander, Francois Reginald, Lancelot, Herman, 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 Gregory James is giving a ball. The prince is giving a what? The prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. His Majesty has this to. To attend the ball, all one requires is an invitation. <laughs> suitably fashionable attire. Oh. And the prince shall choose a woman from the ball to be his bride. What? That means anyone can be the queen. <laughs>
courageous Charlotte. Allow me to place this tiny bottle around the neck of my beautiful, beautiful Gabrielle. Cinderella, get the bows and ribbons. <gasps> we must prepare. Who can that be? It must be good news. Good evening, madam. Oh, Gabrielle, you must forgive me for this intrusion. But I thought you might desire these wildflowers. I've picked them myself. Thank you, Jean Michel. They're so beautiful. Oh, and for the mother of the most beautiful girl in all of God's creation, I've picked these flowers and feel not too far from here. You are not welcome here out of my house. Uh, would, would you perhaps you consider? And take your simple pleasures with you. Madame, don't be mean. That was so nice. No. Why do you come to the city tonight? 
I just knew I would find you in the same little chair, in the pale pink midst of a foolish dream. I am being foolish. Then be foolish with me. Now tell me, what would you dream of? Why, an invitation to the ball, I guess. <laughs> Why, right here. Here's an invitation. Oh, but it's torn. Don't wait for everything to be perfect, just go. Now what else would you imagine? Why, a beautiful gown, I imagine. A, a beautiful gown all sewn up with pearls and diamonds. <laughs> and on your feet? Why, the most beautiful pair of grosgrain pumps, I'd imagine. No better, the Venetian glass that your stepmother so loves in her <laughs> trinkets and bottles. I shall make a pair made only of Venetian glass. <laughs> oh, silly, I'd be the envy of all. But uh, how would I get to the ball? Why, this pumpkin right here. Oh, yeah. I shall turn it into a golden carriage. And, and horses. Those mice trapped in that cage. <laughs> and, and a fox as a footman and a raccoon as a driver. <laughs> oh, you are crazy, Marie. Why, in order to do that, you would have to be a fairy godmother. Marie, what are you doing in that beautiful gown? You're, you're a crazy woman. Well, you'd be surprised how many beautiful gowns have crazy women in them. Are you really my fairy godmother? Oh, but of course, my child. Actually, I'm everyone's fairy godmother. But you're the only one who's given me charity, generosity, and kindness. And now I shall make all the dreams we joked about come true. No, no, that, that's so I improbable, I implausible. <laughs> impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. Impossible for a plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage. And four white mice will never be four white horses. Such vulnerable and fiddle dee dee of horses. people say and because these daft and dewy die dopes keep building up impossible hopes impossible things are happening every day impossible 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 and now you are my fairy godmother, then... Well, that means anything's possible, right? I suppose so. Then you could change it all! You, you can make it all happen! No, you can change it all! You can make it all happen! Never me, I, I couldn't. Oh, you're right! It's all just so... impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carrot! What you Impossible! For a plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage And four white mice who never be four white horses Such vulnerable and fiddle dee dee of horses Impossible But the world is full of zanies and fools Who don't believe in sensible rules And won't believe what sensible people say
in our laughter, glass slippers. Now, Cinderella, I must warn you, all of this magic is very powerful, but it will end at midnight tonight. Now go to the ball in the name of every girl who has ever wished to go to the ball in a beautiful gown, in the name of every girl who has ever dreamed to change the world she lived in. Go with the promise, a possibility. <laughs> it's possible, it's possible, it's possible, <laughs> it's possible, it's possible, it's possible. It's possible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. It's possible for a plain country pumpkin and a prince to join in marriage. And four white mice are easily turned to horses. Such vulnerable and fiddle dee tea of courses. Quite possible. But the world is full of zanies and fools who don't believe in A dance, perhaps? Wrong answer. I've got marrying royalty on my mind. So which one is he? Well, maybe it's me. <laughs> you're no prince. You're ordinary. What makes you think I'm ordinary? Oh, please. We're doing the gavotte. And you can't even keep the beat. I mean, by the time we get to the waltz, you'll trip over your two left feet and land on your flat little bottom. I hope to talk to you later. <laughs> I've moved on. How do you do? How do you do? A lovely dance, isn't it? I hope my dancing is all right. Well, your dancing is absolutely princely. Oops, I let that slip out. So you know. Well, I would know a wise and handsome prince anywhere. The last girl did not know. 
Thanks for the heads up. I think she does now. Well? So... Well, what can you tell me about yourself? But would it please you to know, Your Highness? Uh, what are your interests? Whatever you're interested in, Your Highness. Okay. Creepy. Um, Your Majestic Highness, just because I was playing hard to get, doesn't mean I am hard to get. Okay. <laughs> really creepy. Sebastian, I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore her. We're playing ridicule. Two circles spin, and when the music stops, two players out bum ridicule bum one bum another. Bum and one and two and three. Oh, but my dear, I love that dress, no matter how many times I see it. <laughs> Why, I remember when that dress was first in fashion, back when I was a young girl. <laughs> Please don't speak of your childhood as I haven't brought along a copy of the Old Testament to follow along. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of all that? It just seems like cruelty. Oh, it's awfully sophisticated. I'm not sure I want to play this game anymore. Bum, 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 and one and two and three. Age before beauty, you first deep. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a lovely speaking voice. Have you ever considered reciting poetry? <laughs> What? I know. Do it. Say it. The anticipation is killing me. Do the ridicule. Why do you say that? No reason. I just, I just think you have a lovely speaking voice and would sound lovely reciting a poem. Oh, and that feather in your hair? It's a beautiful color on you. Why are you doing this to me? What is this? Bewitchery you practice. It's just kindness. Kindness? Yes, kindness. It's practiced now in all of the great royal courts. Ridicule is not done anywhere anymore. It's all kindness, even in the French courts. <laughs> kindness. Well, who are you, strange woman? I don't know who she is, but she is very, very wealthy indeed. And did you see her feet? Shoes made of Venetian glass. My resentment is all consuming. Uh, kindness, you must all try it! Oh. Yeah, no, I'll be the first. <gasps> what? Kindness. Isn't it wonderful to have a pleasant young lady such as yourself in our court today? Thank you. And thank you for throwing this wonderful party. Ugh, it's like every time they speak, a part of me dies. <laughs> I would like to say that the women tonight are some of the loveliest I've seen in years. <laughs> oh, I heard they have vanilla cake at the buffet. I love vanilla cake. I just wanted to thank whoever did that. <laughs> I just wanted to say that this court is filled with laughter and warmth. And like, it's like it was with the reign of Prince Topher's parents. May his reign be a continuation of theirs. Oh, oh those were just glorious days. And so are these. To kindness. To, to kindness. kindness. <laughs> You are so kind, thank you. You make me wish I were a better person. There's something somewhat familiar about you, but what could that be? I admire how you've changed everything around, and yet I feel so comfortable with you. I feel as if I've met you before. 10 minutes ago, I saw you. I looked up when you came through the door 
My head started reeling, you gave me the feeling The room had no ceiling or floor Ten minutes ago, I met you And we murmured our how do you do I wanted to ring out the bells and fling out my arms and to sing out the news. I have found her, she's an angel with the dust of the stars in her eyes. We are dancing, we are flying, and she's taking me back to the skies. In the arms of my love, I'm flying Over mountain and meadow and glen And I like it so well that for all I can tell I may never come down again I may never come down to earth I'm sorry to be so effusive. I've just met you. I'm not normally this way with someone I've just met. I just feel like events like this, what am I doing here? I feel the same. Like such a phony. So do I. You do? Yes. Me too. My name is... Uh, Topher. Short for Christopher. Yes, I know. Have we met before? Yes. And we are seeing each other for the first time right now. <sighs> Ten minutes ago. I met you, and we murmured our how do you do's. I wanted to ring out the bells and fling out my arms and to sing out the news. I have found him, I have found him. Over mountain and meadow and glen And I like it so well that for all I can tell I may never come down again I may never come down to earth again
Will someone stop her? Wait, wait. Wait, I don't even know your name. She's run off. She left in a golden carriage. We must find her. After her. Uh, uh, Madame, uh, we will take your carriage. We don't have the room. Uh, leave one of your daughters behind. After her. She's my lady. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No. What just happened? No, seriously. Why would a fellow want a girl like her? A frail and fluffy beauty. Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a solid girl like me? She's a frothy little bubble with a floozy kind of charm and with very little trouble. I could break her little arm. Ow! Ow! Why would a fellow want a girl like her? So obviously unusual. Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a usual girl like me? Her cheeks are a pretty shade of pink, but not any pinker than a rose is. Her skin may be delicate and soft, but not any softer than a dose is. Her is no whiter than a swan. She's only as dainty as a daisy. She's only as graceful as a bird. So why is a fellow going crazy? Oh, why would a fellow want a girl like her? A girl who's merely lovely. Why can't a fellow ever once creeper? A girl who's Falling from the sky. Oh, it's gone. The golden carriage has taken a shortcut right through the forest. Gentlemen, lanterns. We must find her if it's the last thing we do. She is my lady. And where is she? There were reports along the eastern road of a golden carriage. Ten minutes ago, I held her. 
the Majesty was spotted the carriage. And this I cannot explain. It simply flew into the mist. Impossible, I know. Impossible? And we shall do the impossible. Ten minutes ago, we were dancing in the palace of all places. And her gown was like a cloud of snowy white. How the moonlight shone its beam upon our faces till she vanished like a phantom in the night I just know I will find you You're the girl of my dreams And the thrill is more than my heart can bear Look! A carriage! Well, that's it! That's the one! After her! in my carriage, I was quite convinced my daughter was going to be queen, and I would never have to come back here to this. And now, well, I'm back here to this. Oh, was the ball a disappointment, madame? The prince, despite his being well born and raised with great care by our Lord Protector, showed the most appalling manners. Appalling! He spent the entire evening talking and Dancing with some little nobody. Oh, well, how did Gabrielle and Charlotte take that? <laughs> the prince has fallen head over heels with some other girl. If he keeps this up, I may not want to go out with him. What was going on in his royal highness's thick skull? And the way he looked at her with respect. Oh, I hope no man ever looks at me that way. <laughs> If that woman had any morality or sense of what's right in this world, she would not have appeared at the ball at all. But can you imagine how she must have felt tonight, arriving at the ball and dancing with the man of her dreams? I cannot, for my mind has no place for the puerile or rank. Well, I can imagine it. I can Think. imagine it, and I have no imagination. When you're driving on the highway when you're driving through the moonlight to the dance you are breathless with the wild anticipation of adventure and excitement and romance then at last you see the towers of the palace silhouetted on the sky above the park in the dark It looks that way <laughs> The way you say She talks as if she knows I do not know These things are so I only just suppose I suppose that when you come into the ballroom is floating in the air when you're suddenly confronted by his highness you are frozen like a statue on the stair you're afraid he'll hear the way your heart is beating and you know you mustn't make the first advance you are seriously thinking of retreating when you seem to hear him asking you to dance
<laughs> I'm throwing caution to the wind, and I'm imagining it as well. Oh, but can you imagine what that girl must have felt like? Dancing with the prince. <laughs> A charming prince, as charming as a prince will ever be. The stars in a hazy heaven tremble above you while he is whispering, Darling, I love you. You say goodbye, away you fly. But on your lips you'll keep a kiss. All your life you'll dream of this lovely, lovely night. Piano forte! Oh, yes! A lovely night, a lovely night, a finer night you know you'll never see. La 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 la. You meet, you meet your prince, your prince, a charming prince, as charming as a prince will ever be. La 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 la. The stars in a hazy heaven tremble above you while he is whispering, Darling, I love you. You say goodbye, away you'll fly, but on your lips. You'll dream of this lovely, lovely night. evening is that the prince seemed so completely devastated when his dream date ran away. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. The powder room was full of yammering. Why did the girl run away? Well, my feeling is that up close she was visually and appealing. <laughs> <laughs> to bed, my lovely daughters. Okay. Cinderella! You stay here and clean up this pigsty of a parlor. Why is there a pumpkin on the table? It makes no design sense. Is there anything else you would like to know, Ella? Oh no, it sounds like a really marvelous ball. I only wish I could have been there. How did you know all that happened at the ball earlier this evening? I just supposed it. I had a vision, I guess. Interesting. Quick, how many fingers? A two, three. Fascinating, where are your visions now? You are being silly more than usual. Just because I said the prince was wearing a blue jacket. You didn't say it. And he was. Something's going on here. I don't know what you're talking about. I need to finish up here and clean oh, up. Let me help you. Your hands are so rough and callous from work. Just like the woman whose hand I shook this evening. I don't know what you're Who talking about. Who danced with the prince? It was you tonight, wasn't it? I don't know. Oh, it was you! How did you dance in glass shoes? <laughs> Promise you won't tell the others, Madame and Charlotte? No, never. Are you mad that I stole the prince from you? I will confess a secret. I never loved the prince or even liked him. There's someone else I want. <laughs> How wonderful! Uh, who is it? Well, Madame hates him. Madame hating him doesn't really narrow down the field. <laughs> who is it? If I promise to keep your secret of the prince, can you promise to keep my secret of my forbidden love? Yes! <laughs> it's Jean Michel the Firebrand! Oh, he is a good man! <laughs> and seems angry for all the right reasons. He wants to change the world and make it a better place. You've got to love a guy like that. Well, you may one day win Jean Michel, but I will never win Prince Topher. If he saw me for who I truly am, he would never love me. That's not true. 
He would love you for who you are. I don't see how. Well, if Madame ever caught me with Jean-Michel, I shudder to think what she might do. <laughs> are you sure you can keep my secret? I can. And, and I will. We shall have a secret. And that will make us so conspirators. Uh, friends. Sisters. <laughs> May we both find our loves. And our lives. The stars in a hazy heaven tremble above me. Danced when he promised always to love me. The day came through. Away I flew. But on my lips he left a kiss. All my life I'll dream of this. Lovely. Lovely night. <laughs> I wake in the loneliness of sunrise When the deep purple heaven turns blue And start to pray as I pray each day That I'll hear some word from you I lie in the loneliness of evening Looking out on a silver flaked sea And ask the moon, oh how soon, how soon Will my love come home to me? I have found her I have found an angel with the, the dust, dust of the stars, stars in your eyes We are dancing, we are dancing we are flying And she's taking me back to the sky I lie in the loneliness of evening Looking out on a silver flake sea and ask the moon, oh how soon, how soon will my love come home to me? Will my love come home to me? Honestly, Sire, three nights in a row you search, and here it is, four o'clock in the morning. It's as if you are testing my good nature. The second that woman in white ran off, which we all must admit, seems to imply she has a police record, the second she is gone, you don't want to dance with any of the other girls. Sebastian, are there poor people in this kingdom who have had their lands taken from them? If there were, I would tell you. Do they need our help? Everyone donated joyfully. Ignore this talk. Where did you hear it? The girl. I don't know that she is to be trusted. Please, come back to the castle. The work is piling no, up. something isn't right. As you say. The ring, sire. Right, sorry. What are you stamping this time? Nothing, sire. Hardly worth troubling your beautiful mind. Let me see it. I should explain before I reading I want this. to read it. Your majestic kindness, uh, let's go back to the palace and allow me to drop some I'm coverage. reading this you now, know? thank you. Uh, but sorry, that I really will... all, Sebastian. I'll let you know if I need anything explained. Oh no. Sebastian! Sire, I can explain. How could you do this in my name? 
I am maintaining this life for you. Without my watchful eye, you should be a pauper. Would you like that? I want that girl, the one who talked to me. I want to talk to that girl. A troublemaker? We're having another ball. Um, a banquet, and she'll come to that. She won't show. This is lunacy! We're having a banquet tonight, and you're inviting everyone in the kingdom. Don't forget who you're talking to! And you don't forget who you're talking to. Now we're having a banquet tonight, and I'm finding that girl. Very well, sire. She won't come. You don't even know her name. And if she really thought you were worthy of all of her high ideals, she would have stayed, wouldn't she? A banquet! <sighs> the prince is looking dreamy-eyed, he has his giving the ball. And still he wants to find his bride, the one he lost the ball. So spread the word throughout the land, the prince is throwing a banquet! Hear ye! Hear ye! It is his wish that the woman he met at the ball will attend. As for the rest of us, well, what can I say? There's gonna be a ham talking back to me! Hear ye! Hear ye! And of course, I want to keep an eye on what women are there! I'm not giving up control this time! Spread the word! Hear ye! Hear ye! His Royal Highness Christopher Rupert James is giving a banquet tonight. Invitation only. A banquet tonight? Cinderella, where are you? Cinderella, where can you be? His Royal Highness Christopher Rupert, don't be in dreamy eyed, can't find his lady, hoping to see her. Where is she? Cinderella? Where is she? Gregory James is giving a banquet tonight. How can the prince do this? It seems cruelty beyond measure. Two significant social events in one week. Now granted, I have never looked lovelier, but my physical perfection comes at a price. Gloves, that's what it was. Cinderella? Where are the gloves? Oh, Ella, over here. Don't tell Madame you have the gloves quite yet. Oh, but they're right Yes, I know, she'll be abusive later. But trust me, this shall all be worth it. I'm gonna tell Madame that I'm... <coughs> sick. Are, are, are you all right? I'm not actually sick. I'm just pretending. Like how Charlotte pretended to be sick to get out of things that she didn't like. Like the third and fourth grades. I will be sick just as we are leaving for the carriage. Madame and Charlotte will leave without me. Then I will change into peasant clothes and meet my secret crush, John Michelle. I'm taking him up on his offer to go help in the soup kitchen. Soup kitchen? I get to ladle! Oh. <laughs> you heard me. Oh, and guess what will happen to this beautiful dress and invitation? Well, I shall loan them both to you. You shall go in my stead and meet the prince and fall in love and get married and exact revenge on Madame. <laughs> and try to keep Jean Michel out of the stockade. Trilla, trilla, the way my mind works. <laughs> Cinderella, I can't find my gloves. And don't worry about Madame. She never notices anything that isn't her. <laughs> uh, Madame, your gloves are right here. <sighs> Why did you not tell me you had the gloves, foolish child? Charlotte, make haste, child. <laughs> and those shoes are delicate and dainty. My feet burn with the heat of a hundred suns. <laughs> to the carriage, daughters. Oh, madame, my stomach. I must have eaten something this morning that disagrees with me. No, no, this can't prevent me from going to that banquet oh, tonight. Go, go without me. Let Charlotte meet the prince and steal him from the homely girl from the ball. Go, let Charlotte become queen. I mean, I guess I could make that work. I shall do this battle with only half my troops. Cinderella, fetch the physician. If Gabrielle is better, send her to the castle immediately. Gabrielle, get better, I insist on it. 
Keep your invitation. Oh, thank you, madame. I shall come if I feel... Oh, not on the dress! Charlotte, the carriage awaits. <laughs> Quickly, I'll change in you. You knock on the door. Uh, they knocked back. Then open it. Oh, good day, Ella. Oh, good day, Jean Michel. I am sick and tired of hiding in the shadows like a, a, a fearful person. Well, would you rather see Madame? Well, hiding is nice. <laughs> How are you this evening? Oh, I'm going out with Gabrielle tonight, and I'm wound up like a tick. Oh, her and I will go to the green grocer and beg her for whatever scraps he may have. Then we shall slave over a hot stove and feed a meal to the very poorest. I do hope she doesn't expect to have this much fun every night. Good evening, Jean Michel. <gasps> Gabrielle, I much prefer you in this much more simple attire. You no longer look like a carnival attraction. <laughs> you speak such kind words to me all the day long. And what of the soup kitchen this evening? Well, our first responsibility is with the poor. Then we shall march to the palace steps and speak with the prince. We only have one thing to worry about, though. And what's that? That'll even speak to me at all. Well, Ella might be able to help. She's talked to the prince, you know. Ella? Ella spoke with the prince. She was at the ball. They were talking about how to make the kingdom a better place. And now she's going to the banquet. The world is upside down, but you know what this means? If Ella spoke with the prince, then that means I can speak with the prince and he'll have to be open to my suggestions. What is this feeling I have? Optimism. Optimism. I have to do this more often. You can march up to the prince and talk to him. I can. March to the prince and talk to him. You can be a leader. I can be a leader. You can be my boyfriend. I can be your boyfriend. Whoa, left turn. <laughs> what are you doing? This is very counter-revolutionary. Well, I like the man who wants to change the world, but I also like the man who brought me flowers. Who brought you flowers? Oh, right, I did. <laughs> no, but I couldn't. You just said so. Optimism. Optimism. Let yourself go. I could be your boyfriend. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, I am your boyfriend? Yes. Yes. <gasps> so that's how it is? Mama, my own daughter, my flesh and blood deceiving me with someone so decidedly unsuitable. I had plans for you, Gabrielle. I had created a life for you, and this is how you show your gratitude? All dressed up and ready for court, how do I look? And you, do you think you could go to court? I never loved your father, I just wanted his money. You've been nothing but a nuisance to me since the day he died. You think you can wear a beautiful gown? You think that is acceptable? You should be in rags. Stop! No! no rags is all you deserve! Mother, please stop! I'm no longer your mother. You, Gabrielle, out of my house! You are no longer welcome here! To the devil with you! I'll decide what to do with you later. Oh, why did you have to make me doubt myself? I was doing so well. Last a friendly face. Oh, Ella, sweet child, hurry. You're going to be late for the banquet. Oh, look, everything is ruined. The prince needs you, and he wants you. The prince would never love me if he saw me for who I truly am. Well, why do you think he's having the second event tonight? To try and find you. Every time I take a step forward, Madame pushes me back. I can't keep fighting. If you have a dream, then very soon thereafter, you're going to have to fight for it. Why, otherwise... <laughs> How would you know the dream is yours? But my life? Exactly. It is your life. Beyond the voice that keeps insisting no There is something more than doubting Breaking through the darkness Something that sets you
the banquet. My clothing is in tatters, and that's all I have. Perhaps we need more tatters. Uh, more what? rags. Uh, rags, rags, rags. Tatters and shatters in bags. Make the old to new. Tatters that matter in rags. Spin them into sparkly blue. Marie, I don't understand. Now take these rags and the glass slippers are already upon your feet. Oh! Buy this book Jean Michel gave you. Maria, I Now don't you only have the entire world to help. I don't know if I can do Trust it. Trust in the magic. It is in you. Now you can go wherever you want to go. I believe all the guests have arrived. It's time for the banquet. I'm waiting for her. She has to come. Very well, sire. But be warned. This party is a pack of gossips. I'd hurry it along if I were you. Prince Topher! You're here! I'm sorry, I'm late. I knew if I had a banquet you'd come. Sorry I ran away before. And you're even more beautiful than I remember. Did you really have this banquet just for me? I would have a hundred banquets just for you. And that part about me being more beautiful than you remember, that's true too? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. <laughs> wow, what do you know about that? Well, I've been thinking about you, and I've been thinking about what you said about the people having their homes taken away. The court tells me I should ignore such you talk. You know but... that if you are going to be king someday, you have to listen to the things people tell you to ignore. Yes, yes, I want to listen to all my people, not just the one Sebastian lets me see. I just don't know how. It's impossible. Well, that's going to be more possible than you can even imagine. My sister Gabrielle and my friend Jean Michel are coming up here right now to talk to you. Oh, to talk to me? But if things are as bad as you say, then they'll be angry with me. I think that if you can do battle with a giant or a dragon, you can handle a few people who just want to talk to you. Okay. Well, you're good. <laughs> just be yourself. They'll see the man that I see. Oh, they're coming. Wait, what's your name? Just trust me because I am your one true friend. Friends, come meet Prince Topher. <laughs> oh, just don't say my name. I won't say your name. I won't even mention the blue dress. <laughs> Wait, Ella, are you all right? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Topher, this is Jean-Michel. He is a great man with a lot of great ideas. I, uh, uh, no, no. It's nice to meet you. And this is my sister, Gabrielle. Oh, and this is Yvonne and her baby. <laughs> I see the resemblance. And this is Sam. It is an honor to meet you. It's an honor to meet you, too. Hey, 
This prince is all right. Oh, okay, I'm holding a baby. <laughs> you can uh, talk to him like a person. Um, Topher, there's something Jean Michel would like to say to you. Well, I, I we, these people, have had their home and property taken from them. I, I've said this before, but now I know what it's like to have somebody you love lose their home. We need your help. We need our voices heard. Yes. Well, yes, I see, and well, trust me, I too know what it's like to be overlooked. And I want to help you all, but how? Full de roll and fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee faddle dee fumble. All the wishers in the world go oops, and out they tumble. Of course, it's here. What's here? Oh, do you know it? Well, I read it at university. Look, chapter two. Well, of course, chapter two. <laughs> chapter two. I didn't get that far. Yes. Well, yes, oh, I should have known. <laughs> People, I think I have an idea. I knew you would. Long live Prince Topher, our, our future, future king. king. Prince Topher, wh what are you doing surrounded by these ragamuffins? Sebastian, you said no one in the kingdom needed our help. What do you call these people? Well, from their attire, I assume artists. <laughs> we demand to have our voices heard. You know, boy, a beheading would not be out of place here. All the people must be seen and heard. That's a very good idea. What is going on here? Now, there is a way for all to be seen and heard. It's in this book. In one month, Let's all vote for a new job. I shall create the post of Prime Minister, someone who will counsel me. I nominate our current Lord and Protector, Sebastian. Oh, I am unworthy. And Sorry. I also nominate this man, Jean-Michel. <laughs> what? Let the people decide the way things are or the way things could be. And each person, rich or poor, only gets one vote. W one person, one vote? W where's the fun in that? People, in one month, I give you an election. Oh, right. And now everyone, rich or poor, into the castle for a free banquet. <sighs> you did it! I knew you could! Oh, I did do it! Oh, and I think I know who I am now. Oh, you're smiling. I've seen you smile before, but never like that. I know the king that I can be. Just and fair, but kind-hearted. I found myself and you showed me the way. You seem so sure of yourself, so sure of everything. I feel like I can answer any question that gets thrown at me. You can! If you, I can. There's just one question I don't have an answer for. Do I love you because you're beautiful? Or are you beautiful? Because I love you Am I making believe I see in you A girl too lovely to be really true Do I want you because you're wonderful or are you wonderful because I want you? Are you the sweet invention of a lover's dream? Or are you really as beautiful as you seem? Wonderful 
as you seem. And now I feel we can really change the world, you and I. To the banquet. To the banquet. What time is it? It's only midnight. Why? Oh, midnight, I have to go. Again? But why? I have to go. How can you leave me? Why must you leave? If you knew who I truly was, you would never want me. But don't leave me. Well, guards, well, someone, can anyone stop her? Huh. and all is well. A great day in the kingdom. In one month from now will be our first re-election for Prime Minister of the land. To the candidates are our current Lord Protector Sebastian and John Michel. But tomorrow, all women come to the palace and try on the glass slipper. Whosoever fits it shall be married to the prince. Oh, this is the biggest news cycle I've ever shouted. Well, I'll be back at 11 with local weather and sport. Hear ye, hear ye. The prince intends to search until he finds the girl who fits the bill. Well, not the bill, the shoe, I mean the shoe to fit the queen. The shoe does not fit. The shoe does not fit. We're going to find that girl. If the shoe is made of glass, that means it can only fit one person. That's why she left it, right? It doesn't look good. Now, when you try on the shoe, make eye contact with His Highness. For our family, you shall try the shoe on first. Don't you mean only? I mean, no one's seen Cinderella since you yelled at her two nights ago, and Gabrielle left after you yelled at her for... Wanting that guy who might be our new prime minister. Wow, good call on that one. I don't know what is going on in this world. Everything I felt was holy and true is trash. That which means nothing and now means everything to me. Here goes nothing. Hi, me again. <laughs> oh, Gabrielle, there you are. I've decided that if I become Prime Minister, I'm going to marry you. Wow, the stakes are really piling up. The shoe does not fit. Of course it doesn't fit, because I'm not that girl. None of us are. Is that the last eligible lady in the kingdom? She appears to be, oh, yes. But she can't be. I told you the girl wouldn't come. Can we end this charade now? Everyone truly tried on the slipper? I haven't tried on the slipper. Everything has led you to this moment. Now you have something to believe in, yourself. All the wishers in the world are dizzy in the noodle. By all means, make yourself ridiculous and try on that slipper. It's too rich, too rich. You can do it, Ella. That's my sister. Have we met before? Yes, and we are seeing each other for the first time right now. The shoe fits! Oh, it was you! It was you who danced with me that night and who showed me my own kingdom. And it was you who gave me that water that day I was thirsty. Oh, please don't run away again. I don't think I could bear it. It was you? <laughs> we both know how horribly I have treated you since your father's death. I know it is beyond reason to expect some of your famous kindness. I am not worthy. <laughs> Madame, you have treated me cruelly indeed, but I say to you now the three kindest words I know. I forgive you. Thank you. Do you think that includes me too? <laughs> For you would probably involve several hours of community service. Oh. <laughs> You're amazing. Could I maybe learn your name now? It's Cinderella. Cinderella? Oh, it's beautiful. 
It's a name I once hated, but starting today I think I'll keep. So that whenever anyone says anything is impossible, <laughs> I'll just say my name and know better. Cinderella. Oh, I love you so much, I just don't know what to do. Uh, is marriage still on the table? Yes. Yes, oh my, yes, I mean, you have to I, marry me. I, I mean, I, will you marry me? Uh, <laughs> Cinderella, will you marry me? Yes, my handsome prince, I will marry you. <laughs> In the arms of my love, In I'm flying. In the arms of my love, over I'm flying. mountain and meadow and glen. Meadow and glen, and I like it so well. And I I may never come down again I may never come down to earth again Hello. 